so basically your topic is electronic devices and experimental method and if you clearly see the syllabus it has two parts you can divide in two parts one is your electronic devices part electronic devices part which is basically made of semiconductor so you can call that is one part of the syllabus is semiconductor devices and the other part is digital circuits or digital electronics so here uh, in this class we are not going to discuss digital circuits okay so this part is already going on for some students so for new students and as well as old students we are starting today this electronic devices part so in this course basically we are going to understand the principle of devices which are which are in general use okay so like diode transistor junctions okay mosfet junction field effect transistors operational amplifier so all those devices which are used on uh, electrical uh, equipment okay or electronics items like your laptop microphone okay uh, camera so some way or some way these devices or these these uh, appliances use these electronic devices so in this course we'll discuss all these dev devices now and their applications circuit applications so let me put the syllabus in a such a way which help us to understand our curriculum in a nice way so the syllabus okay so because we have to understand the electron devices and their circuit applications so the first skill we should have the ability to do uh, solve a circuit okay so this is the automatical uh, becomes the part of our syllabus okay so this is the compulsory unit first unit network analysis because you want to understand or feel that devices application in different circuits then you should be able to solve the circuits first okay so you should have uh, this uh, primary skill or fundamental skill in order to go to the syllabus and once you have command on this network analysis i assured that the rest of the syllabus become very simple okay so you have to only for initially 10 days you have to work so that you should have a command on this uh, network analysis technique a rest will follow uh, uh, automatically okay this is just a cake work okay so this is a network analysis and uh, second you have to learn diode pn junction diode and its applications okay like rectifier clipping clamping voltage multiplier gina diode those we will discuss okay third topic is your transistor transistor basically we will mainly focus on bipolar junction transistors okay of course there is junction field effect transistors also junction field effect transistors and there are some opto electronic devices opto electronic devices like you have a solar cell then you have a led photo detectors so this is we'll look into this also if time permits and then you have a last is your operational amplifier operational amplifier okay so these one two three and four okay most of the your exam questions are coming from these four topics okay so first mainly we will focus on these topics and then at the end we will see this injunction field effect transistor and opto electronic devices okay so we will start today with a network analysis because this is the fundamental skill you require to deal any electronics uh, electronics uh, circuit uh, syllabus 
So let us start with a network analysis. Okay. So book I will prefer. Okay. If you want to deal, so there are two books you can keep with you. One is fundamental of electric circuits. electric circuits or network analysis okay written by alexander by alexander and sadduq okay so this book along with my notes and coaching material you can command on this first chapter network analysis okay so i am giving this for network analysis network analysis chapter okay and second second book i'm suggesting for your diode transistor and operational amplifier okay and of course junction transistor field effect transistors jf j fat MOSFET. Okay. For these topics, I am going to suggest you the book Electronic Device and Circuit Theory. Electronic Devices and Circuit Theory. Okay. By Robert Ballstead. Okay. Robert. L. Ballstead. So both these books are available in your Google Classroom, okay, in the Gmail Drive. So you can check there. If it is not available, let me know. I will provide you the book. So please note down these books. So for diode, mainly my class notes will be sufficient. Okay, class notes that will more than sufficient. Okay. For transistor OPM, for OPM also class notes are sufficient. Okay. For transistor JFET and MOSFET, you can prefer uh, this book. Okay. Most of the thing we'll do in the class. Okay. Only for practice purpose, you can you can use this book along with my uh, class notes. So, shall we start now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So the first topic we are going to start is network analysis. Okay. Okay. So network analysis. Okay. So what is the difference between a network and circuit? Okay. So both these words are interchangeably used. Okay. Will it look like a similar words, but they are not similar. There is a certain difference between these two terms. Okay. So one is your network. Okay. And other is your circuit. Okay. So what is circuit? Circuit is basically a closed path. Okay. Circuit circuit word is made from circle. So it comes from the circle. So this is a closed path or closed loop closed path okay a closed path is called loop so a closed path having energy source energy source energy source means like you are you have a uh, voltage source current source voltage source or current source So you have a closed path along with uh, this source, then it is called circuit. Okay. For example, let me draw a uh, network. So suppose you have a circuit. Okay, this is R1. Say this is your R2. Say this is your R3. Okay. I am keeping here a energy source. Okay. So, so basically, if you see this circuit, okay, it has open terminal also. 
so if i if i consider this first loop okay first loop so this is closed loop as well as it has a it has a power uh, energy source so this part of the this network this whole is called network okay so this part of the circuit is called uh, part is called the circuit okay this first is your circuit okay because it is a closed loop and if i consider the second second section of this network or this part okay this is the only loop so second is only your loop we don't have uh, any source here okay and this complete complete uh, section of the resistances and uh, voltages this whole is called your network okay so this is a, your basically a network okay so this is a difference between a network and a circle circle what comes from uh, circuit what comes from circle so it has to be closed okay but network can be open some some part of the network can be open okay now for the uh, a, a for circuit the com compulsory requirement is that it should have a energy source voltage source or current source okay but this requirement is not necessary for network for example if i remove this source here and just i keeping resistances only r1 r2 r3 okay this is still network okay but there is no source so we call this as a passive not passive network this is called passive network okay while a circuit cannot be uh, passive that is the difference between a circuit and uh, network circuit word generally we physicists use okay now now we are in the stage of defining a network because our purpose is network analysis so let us first uh, and uh, define what is a network okay so just like i have drawn some diagram where you have some components okay connected to each other so that is only the definition of network so what is a network so a network Okay, a network is interconnection of interconnection of network elements. Okay, a network is the interconnection of network elements. And what are the network elements? I'm talking here. What are the network elements? So network elements can be resistance, inductor, okay, capacitor, voltage source, energy source, okay, and uh, current source. So all these come under, under the category of network network elements. So basically network is an interconnection of uh, network element. Now we can further go in detail in understanding uh, network. Okay. Yes. Any question? Sir, L here is inductor. L is inductor here. Okay. L is R is resistance, L is inductor, C is capacitor. Oh, someone mic is on. Is the mic on? Hai? Okay. So let us now go further detail in the understanding of network. So ye agar likh liya ho, bata dena mujhe, that we will go. Yes, tell me. Sir, uh, why are we drawing circles at the edges? In the these are basically terminals okay just to terminals if you don't want to draw you cannot draw just these are terminals okay circle okay. means it is a connection eh? there is a connection is there na? that's why i'm mentioning you can put a point also no issue so these are joints clear it's a basically joints yes, it's a basically joints terminals okay so let us discuss now network in detail 
so i am putting a voltage source okay so this is the resistance this is r1 r2 say this is your r3 and let me put one more source here say here i am putting a current source i okay so three resistances and i can give the name to these terminals this is my a this is b this is c this is d this is e this is f this is g and this is your h okay so this is basically a network okay now i'll define some terminology in this network okay so put the heading network terminology terminology okay so what is called node anyone can tell me what is a node okay so what is a node in the circuit a so terminal wires milling. yes very good a terminal where two or more component or branches components join together is called is called a node okay तो ये सर्किट देखो और बताओ इस सर्किट में कितने नोड हैं हाउ मेनी नोड्स आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस सर्किट ए टर्मिनल वेयर टू और मोर कंपोनेंट्स जॉइन टुगेदर कंपोनेंट्स का मतलब आपको पता ही है वोल्टेज रेजिस्टेंस इंडक्टर सी सो टर्मिनल मैंने ड्रा कर दिए हैं कितने नोड है इस सर्किट में एट 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 नोड्स आर देयर एट जस्ट लेट अस काउंट ओके so eight terminals are there but there are not eight nodes okay if you say a a definition is a terminal where two or more component join together so these is component this is a component this is a branch this is a branch this joining here so this qualify the definition of node so a is node okay so i'm writing here a is nodes kon kon se nodes hai a is node talk about b Here also two components are getting joined together. Yes, sir. B is also node. Okay, can you call C as a node? No, sir. C no, sir. C C is not a separate node because C you are, there has to be some component here. Here one component is there, but he has no component. Okay, that is simple short circuit. This is okay. so that means this b c d they are same point same point if 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 there is some voltage here if i want to come from this point to this terminal there will be no voltage drop both these point will be in same potential so all the terminals which are at same potential they will combine together form a single node okay so this is just for representation of circuit in reality mein aap kaise how will you join the circuit You will take this resistance and you will add here. You will take the resistance. You directly add here. So this is this B C D is single point. They are not a separate point. Here this part, this this line, just a representation. In reality, what you take, you take a resistance, one resistance, two resistance, and you join together. And you want to add battery here. You take wire, okay, connecting wire, just to show connecting wire. Either you require a connecting wire to join, or if there are some hooks, you directly you can you can attach. Okay, so these points have these points in between these two points. There is a no component. There is a no C, no resistance, no inductor. So there will be no voltage drop. So that means they are in same potential short circuited. So these combined B C D will form a single node. Okay, so I will I will write. This B, C, and D. This single node. So this is one node. The second node, 
and tell me which is other nodes which is other node Good EFG. Huh. So, 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 E. Can we call it? Can we call a node E? We can call it node. This combined together is combined together is a node. Okay. If I say this is node, so here this voltage source is coming and this current source is coming. Okay. So, this combined together is called a node. Okay. So, I can say H. G F E they combine form a single node three nodes. So if I ask you how many nodes are in this circuit, you have to say number of nodes are three in this circuit. Okay. Anyone has any confusion here up to here? No, sir. So this is this is these are the nodes. Okay. So no. you have to identify nodes. Nodes, what are no. the nodes? Yes, tell me. So, 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 so we, we can also say that F and F and E are, is also a node. F and E and G and F combine. This combined so, single single node. So this is a one no, node, no. two no, node, no. and three node. No, no. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm saying that uh, uh, I'm, I'm pairing not four, but I'm pairing two, two like F and E. Huh, you, 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 you pair F and E, okay. So this is the one node, but this is also okay. common with this one. Na? This point, this point, this point, this point has same potential. Same potential, they are joined together with, with a very conducting wire, they are short circuited. Okay. So you should you, you don't draw like this. You say this is like this. Oh, so, 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 so we, do, we do not need to do permutation and all. No, no. Just this, this is okay. one just single point. Na? Suppose I want to make ground voltage. This is a ground, a single, this is a single point. Na? Okay, sir. Okay, so this is a, this is a single point. There is okay. no component in between that. Okay, so this is your there are three nodes in the circuit. Okay, now what is the branch? What is the branch? Okay, so a component a component between two nodes. is called a branch so this terminology is important because we are going to solve a circuit okay so there is a method which is called nodal analysis mesh analysis loop mesh analysis so you understand first the uh, terminology of this network that's why we are doing this one okay so branch branch means a component between two nodes is called okay so this is a node this whole is node between this is the component component Okay, so component is a basically branch. There's no difference between branch and component. You count the component that means branches there. So one, two, three, four, five. These are all network components, network elements. Okay, so a component you call component you call element. There are five elements: one, two, three, four, five. So there are five branches. Okay, and definition C a component between two nodes. So this is a node. This is a node between this is one 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 component. This is a branch. Okay, similarly this is also branch. Between two nodes, okay. This are nodes, and this is a nodes. This is the branch between this node, this node. This is a between, okay. So these all components all called branches. So how many branches are there? Tell me, circuit. How many branches uh, are four. there? Four. Nee, six. Five. Five. I told five. a branch five. is component. So jitne bhi component honge okay. circuit mein, utni branches hongi. okay. Now next thing is. Loop. How many loops are there in the circuit? A closed path. Okay. A loop. Sir, if you have branch wala concept, fir se bata denge. Branch matla, branch means component. Okay. Component means network okay. element. So any 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 component between two nodes. So ye node hai apka? Yes or no? A is node. Yes, sir. ये भी आपका नोड है पूरा एक ही नोड है इसके yes, बीच में इसके बीच में एक कंपोनेंट है तो दिस इज अ ब्रांच ये भी नोड है इसके बीच में भी एक कंपोनेंट है ये भी ब्रांच है ये पूरा एक नोड है और इन इस नोड इसके बीच में एक दो तीन कंपोनेंट है तो ये थ्री ब्रांचेस हो गई 1 2 3 इन दो इन दो नोड्स के बीच में ओके और इन दो नोड्स के बीच में ये ब्रांच हो गई फोर्थ इन दो नोड्स के बीच में एक कंपोनेंट हो गया पांच तो जितने भी जस्ट यू हैव टू काउंट द कंपोनेंट्स दैट विल बी योर ब्रांच ओके Now next is your loop. 
ओके सो ए क्लोज पाथ इन द नेटवर्क ओके ए क्लोज पाथ इज कॉल्ड लूप इज कॉल्ड ए लूप बताओ कितने क्लोज पाथ हैं इस सर्किट के अंदर इफ आई अगेन राइट ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच हाउ मेनी क्लोज पाथ था देर थ्री 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 सो यू आर सेंग ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी देन बी सी एफ जी एंड देन यू आर सेंग सी डी एफ ई दैट्स अ क्लोज पाथ ओके बट देन बड़ा वाला बड़ा वाला भी है ए सी एफ एच दिस आल्सो क्लोज पाथ ओके सो यू कैन से ए सी एफ एच दिस आल्सो क्लोज पाथ ओके आई एम अगेन राइटिंग ए सी एफ एच ए सी एफ एच इज अ क्लोज पाथ देन दिस बी डी ई जी बी डी ई जी दिस इज आल्सो क्लोज पाथ and if you take hold this a d e h this is also close path close loop a d e h so number of loops okay so branch b is 5 nodes yeah. n is 3 loop l is how many 6 is there any loop any other loop i'm missing here कैसे and then you have a, a d e h these all are closed path okay and that loop is loop ka definition kya hai loop is means loop ka matlab close anything close is called loop okay but here we don't require loop loop ka hamare circuit analysis mein koi use nahi hai okay we mainly interested in the mesh mesh what is mesh okay so The definition of the here there are six six loops. Okay, now we are interested only mesh because you know the mesh analysis technique. Okay, what is a mesh? So mesh means an independent loop, an independent loop. Okay, and what is the definition of independent loop? A loop which does not contain a loop. Which does not does not contain any other loop inside it. Independent loop is called mesh. Independent loop is called a mesh. Okay. So a, a loop which does not con contain an another loop inside it is called mesh. So यहाँ पे कितने mesh हैं? Three. 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 Yes. Very good. Now you understand. So this is the mesh A B G H. Okay. Then out of loop some will be meshes. Okay. So loops are six, but out of all the loops are not mesh. So only independent loops. This is independent loop. Okay. A C F G H. This is the mesh. And then C D, C D E F, C D E F. These are three mesh. Out of six, these three are only me mesh. Okay, so this is this is a mesh. Okay. Now we have M, we have a N, we have B. Okay. So any network given to you. Okay. Any network is given to you. So there is a called a theorem. which comes from uh, circuit topography okay so we, we don't require here derivation so there is always a relation between this these three quantities okay so your branch branches in the network is given by m plus n minus 1 this relation will be always true true for a network okay so if you know the number of mesh three number of nodes three 
थ्री प्लस थ्री माइनस वन फाइव विल बी द ब्रांचेस दिस ट्रू फॉर एनी नेटवर्क इफ यू नो द ब्रांच एंड नो ब्रांच एंड मैशेस then that circuit will contain the nodes you can calculate by this equation so 5 minus 3 okay plus 2 how many nodes three nodes so this 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 equation will be always true okay so while calculating this meshes and number you have to uh, score you have to uh, recheck okay by by this equation whether you are putting wrongly say node or not so this will ha yeah, tell me sir in mesh a A C F G H in second mesh there are two loops no sir. This is A C F H you are saying na? Yeah. So, so if if I say this is my mesh but this is not an independent loop na because this contain A B A B G H. Yes sir. Yes sir but you have written it is a it has a mesh. I told a independent loop is called a mesh so A B G H is the mesh then I um, B C B C B C F G is a mesh, okay. and then C D E F E F is the mesh. Okay, yes, this three. Yes. So I'm putting here mesh one. So mesh one, mesh two, and mesh three. So there are only there are three meshes. Okay. Now I'm plotting a circuit. You have to tell me how many nodes are there, how many branches are there. Okay. So you have to tell me. So say I have a circuit. R A. Here some I am putting some value. Here some resistance is say R two. You can put anything. Okay. Here a voltage source. Okay. Tell me. How many branches and how many nodes are there in this circuit? Branches you can easily count. Okay. How many branches are there? The five. 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 So one, two, three, four, five. five. Number of components, number of branches. Okay. And the nodes. How many nodes are there? so so is this a node to ye ye pura connected hai yes. this is this is single node okay yes sir then this is also node and this whole yes. terminals this is single node three three, three. Nodes. so nodes are only three, three okay nodes. because mesh is also mesh is also here three so three plus three six minus one five okay so if you know this one you can you can directly calculate b minus n minus one three three should be the uh, number of nodes Okay, so mesh is only one, two, three. So that's also you can count here. So you have to identify node. Okay, so ये ये एक node है, ये एक node है पूरा, और इस node और इस node के बीच में ये एक component है. Okay, similarly this node and this node, this node and this node has a one, two, three components. Okay, and then this node and this this is a component, and this node and this node there's a component. Okay, so this 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 satisfies the definition of node. Okay, so these are all nodes. So very easy, it's easy. You can very easily identify which are the nodes. Okay, which are short circuit, they will be considered single node, and where there's a component between these two terminals, that is that will be considered as a separate node. Okay, so if anyone has a doubt, still they can ask me. so this is this is finish okay so network you know now network mein kya hai network in, in the network you have mesh you have loop you have node you have a, uh, mm -hmm. you have a branch that's it okay so nothing else we want here now what is network analysis okay why are discussing we here so network analysis means i want to find the voltage current power In 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 any part of the circuit, okay, or across any component, there are components, there are branches. Any branch, if I want to solve a given circuit, and if I can find the voltage, currents, or power, whatever asked in the question, for th throughout all the circuits, then total this complete is called your network analysis. Okay, so that means 
what are uh, we are interested in basic quantities which in circuits what are these quantities so basic quantities we are looking for basic quantities in a network now we can call network and circuit same thing because the uh, the difference is clear so <clears throat> roughly you can use the word okay so what are the basic quantities important circuit basic quantities important in circuit what we want to solve circuit for okay so these basic quantities are number one is charge okay tell me what is charge physical quantity hmm? charge kya hota hai <coughs> charge is the fundamental Electron. property of material okay. yes sir every material has a charge charge is fundamental property of matter okay every material is made of matter is made of atom and atom necessarily contain charge electron and proton okay so charge is the fundamental property of matter okay and you know charge is quantized charge is quantized okay now where n is what n is 1 2 3 4 is the charge electronic yes. charge yes sir what is the value minus 19.60 okay so this is the electron charge now if i say i have one coulomb charge okay so how many electron it will contain so how many electron how many electron how many electron okay will form will form a one coulomb charge one C charge. Tell me. One upon one point six into ten is power minus nineteen. Very good. So this is one coulomb. Okay. Charge is one coulomb Q by E. N is what Q by E. And this is one coulomb. And this is your how much? One point six into ten to power minus nine coulomb. Okay. If you solve this one, how much will come? Six point two five into ten to power eighteen. Ten, ten, five, eighteen, or five or five. We can say this is the number of electrons will form a one coulomb charge. Okay. So before I discuss what is network analysis, okay, I'm just discussing you with you some of the uh, basic quantities which we are looking for in the circuit. Okay, the second important property or second important quantity, which we have to solve, which we have to remove in the circuit, under questions, under that is current. Current is what? 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 Current very good rate, rate, of, of, uh, rate of flow of charge rate of flow of charge is called current and it is mathematically it is given by i dq upon dt dt okay now how current is set up in the conductor because here we are only mainly discussing going to discuss devices and and the connector okay so first we'll see how current is set up in a conductor okay so for example you have a connector i'm just drawing a cylindrical connector for simply simplification okay okay so i'm applying a voltage here a source now i want to set up a current here so of course if, if you want to set up a current you the charge is present in the conductor and you want to apply the force in the connector okay so in order to apply force, how can they are charged particle? So in order to apply charge, charge, uh, force on the charge particle, what do you require? 
how can you accelerate accelerate electrons charge particles only by electric field electric field yes electric field so that's why i'm applying some potential difference okay so if it's a conductor if i'm applying a potential difference it will it will give it will it will uh, create a electric field inside which is given by db by dx okay here electric field here if, if i say the length length is l okay voltage e is there so i can say my e is what v by l yes sir okay v small l so this much electric field i i uh, applying applying the potential difference between a conductor i can uh, create a electric field inside in in this uh, in this uh, conductor and once i have the electric field obviously there will be the force called qe qe on electron electron is a negative charge minus e okay so i am creating electric field in this direction okay and electron electrons are understand this one electric field direction will be from higher potential to lower potential this is higher potential and this is your lower potential okay so direction is in this way but because the, these are negative par particle the force will be in opposite direction and an electron will start moving electron will start moving okay so that that's the way now these charge particle will get accelerated okay but in actuality in actual actual in actual case they don't move with acceleration even you're applying the you know, force on these electrons but they move with a constant velocity that is called that is called drift velocity drift velocity, drift velocity okay because you these charges in the conductor cannot get cannot cannot be continuously accelerated because if you're applying force and if you say with time they are continuously accelerating then the current in the set current the current in the conductor will be keep on increasing you take a conductor you apply voltage third time by the current infinite to jayega agar, cha agar charge keep on accelerating but they are not accelerating in reality because there are the positive ion cores present in the this conductor okay which are which are providing resistance these electrons are getting scattered because there are positive positive cores and your electrons are colliding with these cores so even though we are applying force in in and in, in, as an average they are moving from one part to other part but they are moving with a constant speed that is called drift, drift speed that you will discuss uh, you will be uh, knowing more about this when in the solid state phase part okay so here i'm just uh, telling you okay, how current how charge moves okay so once charge with moving charge started moving depending on the how much voltage you're applying how much force you're applying it will move with a, with, with a speed that means we have a, a constant flow constant velocity particles are moving that means it's a constant current is present and that we can find how much charge is moving per second okay for from any any point or in a section how much charge is moving per unit time that is called your current so that's why we can calculate current okay so that is the two important part third is your voltage okay so let me erase this one okay so third is voltage now what is voltage tell me what is voltage required to move a charge oh yes so you call voltage or you call voltage difference in circuit both are same okay we mainly we are interested in voltage difference okay so so voltage difference is what energy needed energy required required by a charge particle to to move a, a unit charge from one point point A to B for, for point A or we'll say one for, from point A point A to point B say okay point A to point B okay if I want to move a charge particle from point A to from point A to B how much voltage uh, uh, energy required that is called your uh, voltage or a voltage difference okay so this is defined as a voltage difference between a and b energy required to move okay 
So that means unit charge. So energy is energy is work. So I can write this is by d omega by dq. Can I write like this? Yes. Okay. So energy needed to move a charge particle. Okay. Work done moving a unit charge is called your voltage voltage. Okay. Now this voltage a v a b is always equal to minus voltage v v b a. For example, say I have a two terminals. Say this is B terminal and A terminal. If I say my voltage of A with respect to is B. Okay, the voltage of A with respect to B, that means if this point is nine volt, that means this point is zero volt. Okay, so compared to when I say voltage difference compared to uh, B to A, what is the voltage nine? If I say this is five volt, so automatically this become 14 volt. Are you getting what is the voltage difference? The voltage difference is nine volt. Means if it, this is a zero, this is nine. If I say this is four, then this is how, how much? 13 this is a five. This is a four. This is a 14 like this. Okay. So if voltage of a with respect to B is nine volt. So oppositely, we can say the voltage of B with respect to a is minus nine volt. Okay. So this is zero. So this is zero B is zero and this is nine. Okay. Now if I, if I, if I say this is minus nine, so this become zero. Again, the difference is nine volt only zero minus nine, nine volt only. So that's why we say V a B is equal to V B minus a. If V a B is nine voltage of a with respect to B is nine, then voltage of B with respect to is minus nine. If this point is clear, Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, you have to keep one more thing. If a circuit, a current is moving A to B, a I current is moving. Okay. And so if A to B current I is moving, that means from B to A, how much current is flowing? Minus I. Minus I. Okay. So if I, I say 5 ampere current is moving here, so I can also say my oppositely no, minus five MP current is moving in this direction. This is a couple of things we will require. Uh, we'll see that one in the second analysis. Okay, we'll we'll discuss that time. You will be understanding will be clear at that time. Okay, here just I have to define the terms which I'm going to use. And the last thing is which I'm going to use in the circuit is power. Tell me what is power? Tell me what is power? Rate of change of work. Rate of change energy of work. Unit time. Energy. Oh, so energy ener per unit time. Energy per unit time. Okay. So when I say my battery has this much energy. Okay, energy, energy, care. energy is the capacity to do work. How much work you, you can do, do with a certain, certain amount of energy? Okay, that is the definition of energy. And but how much fast a work can be performed? That is called power. Now, if you have a device that can store the charge, that can store the energy, okay, that is the cap its capacity. How much in joules or electron volt, how much it can store, but how fast it can deliver that energy. Okay, so ability to deliver the deliver the energy is measured as a power for that device. Okay, like you have a battery, you have a fuel cell. Okay, you have a capacitor. Now capacitors generally have a high high power because they they can charge very fast. They whatever energy they have, they can quickly uh, give give away. Okay, so that's for charging fast charging discharging use these capacitors. Battery can store more energy. But battery cannot uh, quickly and uh, give provide this energy. Okay, it it, it, it is decay slowly. So there are some other uh, uh, like fuel cell here. You have a super capacitor, which is intermediate between a battery and capacitor, which has energy also, but uh, lesser than battery. But power has uh, power is lesser than capacitor, but energy is somewhat more than your uh, conventional capacitor. Okay, so so that's a that's a basically power is also important parameter. Okay, so power kya hai? power is basically a rate of work done. Rate of 
work done or ability to do uh, deliver energy rate of work done okay or uh, what uh, energy per unit time okay or you can say energy per unit time also energy energy delivery per unit time delivery per unit time. how fast you can provide the energy that is a measure of power and that is given by again d omega by dt and it is energy per unit time okay energy per unit time also you can write and this i can write d omega by dq and this i can write dq by dt dq dq will cancel so this will same thing and this is nothing this is a voltage and this is your current okay so if any component say i have a resistance or capacitor or inductor anything is there if you want to find how much power it is absorbing there are some component which absorb power and there are some component which provide the energy like voltage source current so will give you the energy power they'll give the power okay so this should be always conservation law follow a source will give the power and all other passive elements like resistance which are which cannot produce the energy that will they will absorb this energy okay that the both should be balanced so so if you want to find how much power is resistance is uh, resistance is absorbing okay or so then you have to find what is the voltage dip difference across that component and how much current is flowing across that component you can find the power okay and of course you can also uh, if you know the power between time t1 to t2 okay you can get uh, total work okay. done also you can find here okay so i'm not going this is the school things you have done already okay just for just for completeness i am giving you definitions okay now we'll come to our main part our main mudda hai ki kya hai ki what is not circuit kaise solve karenge how to solve a circuit that is our requirement okay so i'll start today uh, i have one portion and then we'll continue tomorrow so basically my aim is to find network analysis okay so what is network analysis so i will tell you network analysis means solving circuit means finding voltages and currents across the each element okay just uh, let me write here just for finding network analysis means finding voltages currents and power okay across each component component of circuit i am roughly using what a circuit or network okay so how can i solve the circuit so that we have some methods to solve a circuit some of methods you have already used you are aware okay so network analysis can be classified as or classified means can be done can be approached using basic laws if i know these laws i can solve i can find what is the voltage current in the circuit okay what are these basic law number one is your ohm's law you should know ohm's law okay kirchhoff's kirchhoff's current law voltage law current law kcl current law current law in short we call kcl and third is your kirchhoff's voltage law voltage law which we call it kvl okay so the so elementary circuits just asan circuit hai that we can solve using just the law okay we know uh, what do you know over ohm's law kirchhoff law current law if a simple circuit is there you want to find the voltage kis branch mein kitna voltage hai kitna current hai elementary circuits can be done with these laws very simply uh, simply okay but if the complexity increases okay you then then this, this then this laws will not be sufficient or you can say this law may be very time consuming 
but you have to solve a circuit very quickly, quickly. Okay. Within one or two minutes. So, so then, then, uh, how do you, how you uh, approach this one? Then there are some techniques. Okay. Circuit techniques. There are some techniques. These techniques are called, one is called nodal analysis. Nodal analysis. Okay. This technique is very important technique. What I'm discussing here, both nodal analysis and mesh analysis. Mesh analysis, you, you may have done in your school, 12th class school also. Okay. So very important technique. Nodal analysis is basically a combination of Ohm's law. If I use Ohm's law, along with KCL, which of current law combined together, they form a nodal analysis. Nodal analysis technique mainly focuses on finding the node voltages. Okay. Now in circuit, you have a nodes. And if you know the voltage of each node, automatically, you know, the current in every branch, because branch will be always between two nodes. Yes or no? Yes, so, so, so that's called nodal analysis here. The technique will be, I will try to find a voltage at each node. Okay. Mesh analysis, mesh analysis, basically here you find the voltages at the node. Here you find the currents in the mesh. So circuit again made of meshes. Any circuit will be there will be one mesh, two mesh, three mesh. If each mesh, you know, the current automatically, how much current is flowing in the each branch you can find. Yes or no. So this mesh analysis, basically what base analysis, again, the combination of Ohm's law plus KVL Kirchhoff voltage law. So these are very important to both important technique you have to learn and it is easy. Okay. You'll get command very easily. Okay. So these are the map. Now still there is a chance of chance of that we can increase our efficiency of solving any circuit. Okay. If we know some theorems, so even, even we do not want to require to go through, uh, uh, these techniques. Okay. There, there may be some, uh, uh, methods which, which, which can solve the circuit more quickly. That is called your network theorems. Network theorems. Okay. So there are some important network theorems. Okay. Yes. Yes. Every circuit we have to learn with every circuit, a circuit can be solved in multiple ways. Okay. We will have a test taste of each and every technique. According then the, according to your then your convenience, okay, which technique you are comfortable, you can use any method, okay. But you have we should have a uh, you should know each and every technique, okay. And then later you, you you whatever techniques you are comfortable, you are fast, you can do fast, you can adopt that technique, okay. So the next is your network theorem, okay. That is basically superposition theorem. Okay. There are many theorems, but I won't go to all the theorems, which the, which, which theorems, which is must requirement. Okay. Jo humko jyada jarud padegi, jase humko pad jyada padegi, diodes, humko sol karna hai, ties to sol karna hai, ya opam sol karna hai, to opam mein jyada tar superposition principle use hota hai. Okay. And baki sam mein thevenian circuits use hota hai. So superposition theorem. Okay. Then you have, uh, say, thevenian theorem. Thevenin's theorem, which is very important. These two are very important. Then there is a Norton theorem, which is just like a uh, uh, different version of Nort Thevenin's theorem. Norton theorem, Norton's theorem, Norton's theorem. Then there is a maximum power transport theorem. Maximum power transform theorem, transfer theorem, transfer theorem. Okay. Maximum power transfer theorem. Okay. Visible, uh, and the last, I will use source transformation, which is sometime can be helpful for you. Source transformation. Both asane, ek bar learning about side technique. Once you learn this one, then you will have fun circuit solving because you can solve any way to solve the circuit. Okay. 
एंड सर्किट भी बहुत सारे होते हैं ओके देर विल बी डीसी सर्किट देर विल बी एसी सर्किट यस टेल मी सर व्हाट इज सर नाउ आई कांट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी सर हां हां व्हिच वन दिस वन लास्ट या सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सोर्स सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टेक्निक और थ्योरम सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो आई एम टेलिंग इफ यू लर्न दिस टेक्निक्स ओके when you command these techniques then you can solve any any circuit very quite easily okay then it will be fun for you if you if you have command on these techniques and it's not difficult to command on these techniques it's very easy this parts electronics is a very easy subject okay in exam point of view this is a very easy subject you can score the marks very easily in this subject okay so i told you the the main skill is network analysis if you understand this technique if you solve that's why i'm going to put 10 classes for network analysis once you know this one then diode transistor everything will become very simple so okay this these are the techniques okay so i'm i will discuss today uh, one or two uh, if if time permits if time is there if yes, time sir. is okay so i think time is over if you want if you give me 5 minutes i can start otherwise we'll do tomorrow shall i shall i continue sir can please start it no. from tomorrow okay tomorrow okay so this different things uh, techniques we'll start learning tomorrow okay so i'll stop here thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you thank you